take the fins off because the way that I fillet it means that it will come off anyway. It will have been gutted, a flat fish will have been gutted for you already. And if it hasn't been for some reason, you, you generally could leave that there and not go anywhere near it. On the whole, we tend to do the brown side first. So we've got place with these lovely mottled spots. And on a flat fish, you've got four fillets. One, two, and then underneath one, two. So use the flat of the knife. The point is used, but not, um, not all the way through. What you want to do is look for the line that goes down the back and then do a nice flat cut all the way down. I never trim the tail because it gives you something to hang on to. Fill the knife and see how flexible it is. And then what you do is stick your finger down the middle and feel where you are in terms of the backbone. So the backbone is right down the middle there. And I generally do this fillet first. So I also hold the knife pretty much far down the blade rather than there because it means I'm closer to the food. And then all you do is just start to peel the fillet back, make sure I'm on the right side of the backbone, and all the time you should be hearing the sound of the knife against the bones. Um, I never cut, some, some people tell you to cut a Y, so you cut one, two, and down like that. Then that means that you might be wasting an inch of flesh, and that would be illegal, obviously. So you feel where the head ends, and then you cut so that your fillet comes off. You can hold the fillet closed, knife out the side, and then you want that off the board so that you've got plenty of space on the board. Don't clutter your board. For me, I just turn the knife rather than the fish, but you'll have to have a little feel and see what you fancy doing there. Is there any easier way to do it, head towards or head away? Well, I have always been taught to follow the line of the bones. So the bones are going this way. So you, 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 you never go against the bones, you go with the bones. Um, but for me, I just turn the knife, not the fish. But you may find um, that you want to do it another way. And the other thing to think about is not, don't stick your fingers into the flesh. When you're holding it steady, use a flat hand. Because the flesh is so delicate, you'll actually um, you know, make a bit, of a bit of a mess. Turning it over, now of course it's going to wobble. So it's slightly more difficult, but not that. All the way down, feel where the backbone is. So tip of the knife, you can hear that that's going in nicely. And then I hold the fillet closed. The other thing I'm doing without even thinking about it, safety wise, is that my hand is always behind the knife. So if I'm bringing the knife out, my hand's always this side, not here where the knife could slip and cut me. So straight out the side and then Release the fillet at the top. Same again this side. So all the way down, right up towards the head, so I'm not wasting any. And then just, again, hand behind the knife, all the way out like that. And now, fish stock. We could make some fish stock. We should have bought a large saucepan. Um, so I'll put these in the fridge, in bags. If anyone wants to take them home to make fish stock, you can. 